Hello right, everyone, and right now I'm going to share with you the solution for question 4 of the Pure Math 1 paper that was recently held, that you guys recently took. So uh, I have had a request uh, for me to share the solution for question 4, so here's the solution. So first, uh, uh, part uh, question 4, part A. Find the first three terms in the expansion of 2 minus 3 over 2x power 5 in ascending powers of x. So, and this is 3 marks. This is a binomial expansion. So, what we have to do is just use the formula for binomial expansion, which is uh, already available in your MF19. So, uh, where the first part, or you can say the, the, the first part of the binomial, the first term of the binomial is 2. And the second term of the binomial is negative 3 over 2x. So we start with um, applying the formula. So the first part would be 2 power 5. And then plus 5c1, right, times uh, 2 power 4, times negative 3 over 2x power 1. You don't see the power 1 there, but you, you don't have to really write it down. And then plus the next term, 5c2 times 2 power 3. Okay, reduce the power by 1 compared to the previous, and then uh, times negative 3 over 2x power 2. And we can stop here actually because they want um, you to find only the first three terms. So um, because this expansion uh, actually goes on, uh, so that's why I put here a plus dot 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 to show that there's actually more, but we don't really have to show it. All right. So uh, then we evaluate the 5c1, right? So 5c1 here equals 5, and 2 power 4 equals 16. 5c2 here equals 10, and 2 power 3 here is equal to 8, right? And then just continue to multiply and doing it carefully. Be careful here. One of the uh, most common mistakes that could happen is when you square 3 over 2x square, right? and then when you do that, uh, sometimes some people uh, would forget uh, to divide by 4. Okay, so uh, that's uh, one of the things that uh, can happen. Uh, so yeah, just do them carefully, and if you do uh, do these carefully, you'll get 32 minus 120x plus 180x square plus dot dot dot, you know, uh, there's actually more, but we have to only show the first three. Uh, in terms of marks here, this is three marks. So the marks given are for uh, applying the binomial expansion formula correctly for the second term and the third term. Okay, the first term here has no marks because it's too simple. So the first M1 mark would be for uh, applying the, uh, the expansion formula for the first term and for the second term. Those are the two M1 marks. And then final answer A1 is uh, this one, right? So the final answer, that's what I would suspect um, the uh, marking distribution would be. So that's why it's three marks. This can be done really quickly in less than three minutes if you know the binomial expansion well. Um, all right, so that's part A. All right, good job. So part B, okay. They mention here, use your answer to part A with a suitable value of x to find an approximation to 1.985 power 5. So for this one, I haven't seen this particular type of question for a while. Uh, it used to be in the old syllabus uh, and also in at math. So, um, but uh, if you look at your binomial expansion problem, you can see you can start to figure out what you need to do. So, um, we already know this is from the answer to part A, so I'm, I'm uh, sharing it here again. So, 2 minus 3 over 2, x power 5 is equal to 32 minus 120x plus 180x squared plus da da da, right? So, this is our uh, expansion, right? Uh, we have to use this because the question does uh, ask you to actually use this uh, answer to part A, okay? Because technically, right, you can just grab your calculator and press 1.98505 and you will get an answer. But since that is obviously using a calculator, they will not accept that answer, right? So you will get zero marks if you use your calculator and uh, just type this in. So be careful, don't do that, right? You must use 
the binomial expansion. So, uh, as you can see here on the left here, right, this is 2 minus 3 over 2x power 5, and we have to find an approximation for 1.985 power 5. That means, right, we can just say, hey, let's say that 2 minus 3 over 2x, right, uh, is actually 9 uh, 1.985. So from there, we have to, we can then find a suitable value of x, which is what they say here, right? With a suitable value of x, we have to find a suitable value of x. And this is a linear equation with only one unknown, which is, which means that it's very simple for you to go and find that x, right? So you go ahead and go and find the value of x, right? Using algebraic manipulation, and in the end, you get x equals 0 0.01. So now, what you can do is, we use this expansion and substitute x equals 0 0.01 into this uh, binomial expansion. Okay? So, we substitute uh, x equals 0 0.01 and, uh, into this uh, polynomial expansion here, right? And we get that. Okay? And since it's, uh, this is an approximation, that's why I use this symbol here and I don't put a plus, plus, uh, plus dot, dot, dot at the end. All right, so we have that, and uh, this can actually be calculated without a calculator, uh, which is the point why this question used to be in the past. Uh, and maybe also this could be a, sort of like a, a like a preview for the future of A-level papers because um, I have heard rumors, or really just uh, you know hearsay, I guess at this point, where maybe in the future they might also consider having one paper. Uh, for uh, pure maths to be non calculated okay which so this could be sort of like a uh, like a like a preview or a foreshadowing of what's to come in maybe the next maybe three to four years um, so uh, so they need to uh, they need you to show how to get this without a calculator so now because uh, that's why they use 0 0.01 because technically multiplying with 0 0.01 is really just shifting the decimal. So here you shift the decimal by two places, so you get 1.2 here. And here you shift the decimal by four places, right? Because it's 0 0.01 squared. So you shift the decimal by four places and you get this. And, uh, and uh, three, 32 minus 1.2, that's very easy. That's going to be uh, 30.8. And uh, when you have 30.8 and you add 0 0.018, right, um, the numbers add very naturally, right? You're adding just zeros uh, to all the places, really. So it becomes very simple. And you get approximately 30.818. And this is quite a good approximation. If you press your calculator, I think you will get a value that is actually close to this. The good thing about this uh, question is that after you do all of this, right, and you get this value, you can actually check with your calculator. Just type in 1.98505. If it's very close to this, and I, I believe it, it is, uh, then uh, that means you're right, and you you can be confident that you did this correctly. Okay. Good job.